All right, so here's video two. I want to go right through the reason why your Jeep leaks. I want to show you on a demonstration. This is IGTV, so this video will extend over one minute. All right, so we, like I talked about on my first video, the problem is, is that there's a seal on the door, okay, but there is no seal on the body. Let's walk over to, I don't know, this F-150, okay, and show you that even on a vehicle like a 2000 F-150, here's the seal that's on the door, and there is the seal that's on the body. That makes perfect sense to every car manufacturer other than Jeep. All right, so let's go back here and I'll show you exactly what the deal is. There's nothing here on the body, okay, but there is one here on the door. Let's see how this works. This Jeep is completely dry. There's no water or anything in it, okay? So let's go ahead, door is closed. And I'm gonna show you this here, okay? So here's what happens. It starts raining, okay? Water is on, on your top. You can see how it's running off and it's channeling right into the A-pillar, which is in between the door and your front windshield, okay? So now it's raining on top. Water's all going crazy, okay? And now let's see what happens. Okay, the water trickles down, comes through here, goes right down this A-pillar. Let's open up the door. Okay, as you can see, here's where the water's coming through and it goes down, keep following me. See it's wet, see it's wet, see it's wet. Uh-oh, look what we got. Okay, that's exactly why your carpets are wet. Okay, now let's test the floor. Let's see if it's soaked, okay? It is completely soaked. So this is the reason why this top, you know, you get water there on the floor. Now we'll go over to uh, the other side. A gasket needs to be put into place. Okay, and I've already installed one here on this side, okay? So bear with me. We're gonna start from square one. This is completely dry here inside. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Look at the floor. The floor is dry. Okay. We'll leave that there. Now, let's shut the door. Door is shut. And we'll do the same thing here on this side. No special treatment, okay? We'll even throw more water on this one. I'll, I'll go all through that crack there, the whole nine yards. Okay, let's empty the whole thing out, keep the party going, okay? Now, let's test and see what we got. All right, here we go. Here is what we got. Okay, it is dry. Okay, water's dripping from here because I opened the door, which has landed. You know, water's coming from here because it's just dripping off of there. Don't get it twisted. But now what we have to test is the floor. Okay, let's pat down the floor. Completely dry. So with my proprietary gasket system, it goes all around um, the body of the vehicle. Okay, runs all the way where the water um, will be running. And remember, we can't stop water. We can only redirect it. So as the water comes down this trail and then comes down this A-pillar, this seal is sealing with the door seal and it's keeping the water out and redirecting it out of the vehicle, all right? So that just goes to show you how putting a weather stripping seal gasket will make a world of difference. And that's what I provide you know, at dryjeep.com, and then that's going to be done on all the doors. Not only does it eliminate the water coming into your vehicle, but it also creates a quieter cabin. So that's just another video I wanted to show and shoot to show you that, you know, the problem that the Jeep has, it has no body seal. Log on to dryjeep.com and take a look. Stay tuned. Here we go.